Last summer, Emma was diagnosed with a rare sarcoma. Michael was diagnosed in May of 2014. My son Jack was diagnosed at 18 months. I ended up being diagnosed with osteosarcoma, bone cancer. Being told that, you know, our son's got a brain tumor, he's got cancer, it's, you know, it's spreading and... During her first chemo drip, she, um, had a seizure and um, threw up and her heart stopped. We battled for about three years. He battled for three years. And um, we lost the battle in 2006. You're in a fog until someone knocks on the door and says, hey, you owe us. Um, and then you start to go, wait, what are you talking about? the reality that so many families go through like huge financial trouble. So overwhelmed with the emotional feelings and the fear. Okay, well how am I gonna pay the bills? Although life stopped for us, it really doesn't because life's still going on. Bills are still coming in. Kyle's time in the hospital was frequent and the financial struggle became very real very quickly. We got wiped out financially, emotionally, physically. It's very scary to think, I can't work, I have to be here for my son and my other kids, and what are we going to do? You're not planned for this, you know, it's like life shattering and not, you know, you're just, there's no plan for cancer. The last thing you're thinking about is stuff going on at home, <laughs> bills being paid and all that, so everything sneaks up on you. You never plan for something like this, no, no real plan, a safety net for it. such a relief to know that someone who was walking into that room was there to offer help, who recognized, you know, you're having a hard time financially. You realize that these families that, that are diagnosed, they need the help, and, and these are ways to help them. Mm -hmm.